Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What is cracking? What's up, Miss Outlaw? Good morning. You ready to go uh, swim with some piggies and see some iguanas? And swim with the sharks? Swim with the sharks? Yep. We got a lot we're doing today, I reckon. It's early as tits. We're in downtown Georgetown. About to head out on a tour and see a bunch of wildlife today. See what uh, the Bahamians hunt and fish over here, maybe. All right, we'll see you there. Well, it's the next day. How you doing, Miss Outlaw? I'm warm. Yeah, I'm warm. I'm warm and dry. I, I can't believe it. I thought that day was never gonna end. That was literally the worst day I think <laughs> we've ever had? had. Ever, ever. That was one of the worst days I've ever had in my life. And it was, and we paid for it. <laughs> we literally paid to have this day happen. Oh man, we are, um, as you can see, we're packing to leave the Bahamas right now. And I know you guys are watching this mid video and you're like, what the tits happened? Like, we haven't even seen anything from the day. You said you're going and doing all this stuff. Well, you know, we saw the boats and everything. They took the boats away, they put them in the water and we start to go. We all get on the boat and we're ready to go to these different islands, these four these four keys that were, um, you know, ready to, to go adventure and, and find all these different species of animals and stuff like that, right? Well, it starts to rain a little bit and, you know, the boat's flying, you know, we've, we've got to basically go from the top of Exuma Island all the way to the very end of it and all together round trip, it's almost 200 miles round trip, 200 miles in the ocean. So, I mean, we're running for over an hour long. We're running for over an hour. That's just the trip, and then we have the bus ride. Yeah, and then we got the hour-long bus ride to back down, and then we've got the 30 minutes from where the bus drops. You know, it's literally all freaking day, from dark to dark. And uh, let's just check in with Miss Outlaw and see how she felt in the first, like, uh, 10 minutes. You weren't very happy, were you? I'm a very optimistic person. Um, whenever he's negative, I just say, babe, just think of the positives, blah, blah, blah. And he was the one trying to think of the positives because we're halfway through it i'm like about to cry yeah she was literally about to cry yeah. i was so cold it was pouring we were drenched yeah um i've like never i don't think i've ever seen her that pissed i was shivering like i we i i jumped in the water when we got to our first first like adventure excursion because it was warmer in the water than it was on the boat and getting rained on and she was so cold that she didn't even want to move along with a lot, a lot of other women on the boat that wouldn't even like just wanting, they didn't even want to get off. But I jumped in the water to get warmer. It worked out for when I was in the water, but then when I got back out, it was miserable again. It was just back and forth being cold and wet all day. It never stopped raining once. Every time, you know, every day we've been here in the Bahamas, I mean, just take a look at outside right now. Like right now, it's just a tad bit cloudy, but like it's still really, you know, still nice. It, you know, every day we've been in the Bahamas so far, it's just, uh, it's just, it's been beautiful. And if it rains, it just rains for like five minutes and then goes away. Just like Florida. Here, it rained all freaking day. We were miserable. But when we got to the, uh, the first thing, which was we got to uh, swim with the sharks. I thought that was cool. I forced her to come in with me because I was like, listen, you can't just stay in the boat all day. You gotta have some fun. We paid for this, obviously. We need to have some fun. Well, and he I paid for it for me. I yeah. wanted to go. I yeah, wanted to go. Wanted to go. I love sharks and pigs. Those are like my favorite things ever and turtles. And so I was super excited to go and I wasn't gonna get off the boat because it was so cold and it just started to rain more when we got to the sharks. But I made sure she got in and came in with me and we swam with the sharks and I thought that was freaking sweet. They're nurse sharks, obviously. So, you know, they're one of the nicer sharks out there. They can and, still bite you though. And yeah, and I've, I've swam with them actually before just fishing for them or stuff. So it was definitely a cool experience being right up close and having her touch her first shark and cause she loves sharks, mm -hmm. but she was kind of, she was kind of freaked out a little bit. <laughs> most miserable pretty much because first of all we thought we were getting fed 
you know, like the whole day pretty much, but we had one meal and we didn't even eat breakfast. So it was just us starving the whole time while being cold he had a and power having, bar. and I had to pee so freaking bad. Yeah, it was like the worst I ever bar. had to pee in my life. I had four crackers and yeah. then we didn't eat until two. Yeah, we couldn't eat until two o'clock and we hadn't eaten all day. But we went to this beach where I thought it was hunting season and the pigs were there and I started getting hungry for some gosh dang bacon and that's what made it worse. <laughs> You think we can come to this beach and hunt? We can try. Just don't shoot the little piglets. Wonder if they're infested here like Texas. What are you doing? What are you doing, floppy ears? Oh, he's going dead. Look at him. He's like, I want some food. What are you doing? Hey. What is that? You know I can come over here and hunt you, right? I can do that. I won't. That's big mama. But this is the reason that we went on this trip because she wanted to swim with the gosh dang pigs. I did, I love pigs. I want a pet pig. And so I begged him to go on this trip. She wants a pet pig, right? Well, I want a pet of the next thing that we check out. I even got some battle wounds for that son bitch. You think you let me get a pet of that? That one, that one thing? You know what I'm talking about that they're about to see? Freaky thing. You go ahead, come on. You want to have a 600 pound smelly ass freaking pig. I want a little one. <laughs> All right, whatever. They don't stay little forever, baby. I want a little one too. Hey, my little my little thing that I want to get is freaking only a quarter size of the little one that you want. All right, let us know, guys, in the comments. Should we get a pet potbelly pig or a pet what you're about to see right now? We got another huntable species here on the Bahamas. Oh my goodness, look at all these guys. Here we come up the elusive Bahamian dragon. <laughs> want some lettuce? Want some lettuce? Go, buddy. Oh, wow. Oh, they're so cute. It's bigger going in here. Hey, buddy, you're a big guy, ain't you? Here you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. You dropped it. It's right there. Can I hunt you? How do you taste, eh? How about a catch and cook? There you go. You keep dropping it. You not hungry? No. Let's put it on his head. There you go, buddy. Ooh, yeah. You're good. You're pretty. You're like a dinosaur. Get your spikes. With the lettuce? I'll put it right on top of your head. You're gonna eat a snack for later. It's my new girlfriend. There you go. Good boy. Oh, there you go. Oh, good boy. You're just like my puppy, aren't you? Want some more? Oh, there you go. Here you go. Here you go. Had a good one? There you go. Good boy. Just giving him a good old American massage right now. I'm giving him a massage, babe. Oh. Yeah, good boy. Oh, that was scary. What'd you think, babe? That was scary. <laughs> oh my gosh, he likes you. They all like me. He likes his belly rubbed. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah. Look at his tail. His tail's huge. Wow. Big boy. Big tail. Wow, he swam with sharks. Swam with pigs. Pigs, and now we're Pet feeding the iguanas. I'm still kind of drunk from earlier because it's so freaking cold and this rain is insane. I apologize. Now let's go see if we can pick one up. Let me pick her up. This, this right here is crazy. Huge tail. Look at this freaking tail. Big, big mama. Babe. Yeah. It's not raining as much anymore. Not really. We're good. We've been cold all day. I'm shaking with the camera yeah. right now. We've been freezing. It's been a miserable day up until about now. It's about time to go home. Hey. We did it though. Sandy. Sorry. Cold? Yeah, freezing. Nice shirt. Only available at? Outlaw.com, outlawdipper.com, outlaw.com. Keep it hillbilly.com. Oh yeah, keep it hillbilly.com. How long have you been my girlfriend? I'm sorry, I'm cold. <laughs> Going on top of the trees. That's the one I picked up. He's like, fuck no, I don't want to get picked up again. Look at this guy. King of the mountain, eh? Can I get one of these uh, red bearded iguanas from the Bahamas as a pet? What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. This outlaw would definitely not approve. He'd be scared. Here you go. Yeah, oh, you just said yes. You definitely want it? Here you go. What do you think? Here you go. You said yes. Okay, and we're back. What's cracking, y'all? Yeah, I got some battle scars all the way around from that. Uh, picking them sons of bitches up, and I hear they got a lot of freaking diseases and crap, so it's probably not the greatest idea that I did that, but uh, yeah, I thought it was fun. But I just love them so freaking much, you know? I just want to pet one. So let me know. What should we get? A pig or an iguana? You guys decide in the comments below. Or we can get an alligator or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or hey, how about a dolphin? There you go, mm -hmm. a pet dolphin. Mm -hmm. I feel like your bro law right now, I just wanna kick me in the dick. Ouch. <laughs> Give me that. All right, I think that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you for watching, mother truckers. Oh boy, it's been fun here in the Bahamas, man. We, we gave you all a house tour of our beautiful freaking house that we're staying in. Just look at that freaking view, dude. Freaking kidding me? We gave you all a house tour. We went fishing for the elusive bonefish. It's like the reason that we came down here. And then we went and hung out with a bunch of amazing species of animals yesterday, even though it was the most miserable day we've ever had. And I couldn't, oh, that's the main reason. We're, we're doing this right now because we couldn't film. It was raining so hard that we couldn't film. I could film on my GoPro a little bit, like maybe, but we were so miserable I didn't want to touch anything and the audio would have been just shit. And when we were on the boat, that was when we were on the boat. We had to keep our faces down because it felt like bullets were yeah. hitting us because it was raining so hard. Oh. So we're all like this. There's 20 of us on the boat and we're just like this the whole time. And any skin that was showing, it was like. Tch, tch. Yeah, it was insane. So, so yeah. Came no, home we and died. Yeah, we, we apologize for that. But I hope you guys do, do enjoy the footage that we did. We swim with the sharks. We saw the pigs and we got the iguanas, man. It's pretty dope. Pretty freaking dope. I hope you guys enjoyed the Bahamas vidges as much as we did. And I reckon we'll see y'all on the American side. Because we're filming this on Memorial Day. Thanks to all our service members out there. Love you guys. And uh, America. All of you guys are in our thoughts. Even though this isn't even going up on Memorial Day. But we love you guys. Keep it freaking hell, Billy. Holler. Go check out that clean ass Apple Watch. Miss Outlaw got me for my birthday. How about that, boy? How about that? I love you. <laughs> get back up, load my truck, face my fears, get out of this mug. Everybody's got them problems, gotta fight them so you don't get stuck. I don't yeah. need to drown, fucking clown, put the bottle down. Bourbon brown, leave this town, time to turn my life around.